Close, but no cigar. I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Instant Replay Post Game Report. The University of Evansville men's basketball team was desperate to try to get a W tonight against Indiana State, if for no other reason to get the bad taste out of their mouths left by their loss to Drake in Des Moines back on Saturday. Unfortunately, despite a furious finish, they could not get the job done. Let's go to the highlights. To the fabulous Sports Center, where the Purple come out determined to chop down the Sycamores tonight. It began with Drew Smith dropping this off-balance one-hander in traffic. The Aces would march right back down on the fast break with Smith finishing in style. Evansville jumps out to a quick five-point lead. And Blake Simmons keeps the Aces out in front with the corner tray. Blake Simmons! Then Boo Gibson would get the tough turnaround to go, putting UE up six midway through the opening stanza. Gibson. Then Gibson demonstrates he can work and play well with others, setting up Danius Hakavichis for the alley oop slam. Danius However, the Sycamores start to catch fire from outside. A pair of triples from Kedar Davis knots the game up. But the deadlock wouldn't last long as Blake Simmons responds by drilling the trifecta, giving Evansville back the lead. Trifecta. However, that would be the last field goal of the half for UE, and Indiana State stays hot, going on a 17-5 tear to close out the half. And when the smoke clears, UE is down nine at the break. The Sycamores come out of halftime determined to bury the Aces for good, getting out on a 6-0 run. But down by 13 with under three minutes to go, the Aces refuse to quit. Noah Frederick spearheads the rally with a three from the wing. Next, Ryan Taylor, who had a relatively quiet night for him, hits the jumper. Taylor! Then... Suffocating press defense creates the turnover, then Drew Smith drills the tray for the final three points of a game-high 23 for him. Three. Finally, with just 33 seconds left, Blake Simmons gets the hoop and harm. He would make three the hard way, getting Evansville within three. Basket. However, that's as good as it gets for UE as they fall 71-66. The old saying goes that there are no moral victories in sports, and that may be true. However, these aces certainly gave it their all and nearly had that great comeback against the Sycamores. After the game, I caught up with head coach Marty Simmons and a few of the players. What did you see out there tonight? I thought in the first half they beat us, beat us to some loose balls, just hustle plays that allowed them to get some, some three-point three shots, uh, you know. I mean, they're a good basketball team. I just didn't think we played very smart. Uh, you know, we didn't we didn't make some we didn't make some basketball plays. We just kind of dug ourselves a hole there in the first half. We went down. I think we were down nine coming into halftime, and then they kind of hit us right in the mouth again to start the second half. I think they pushed it up to about 16. Uh, we were able to get it back, but then again, like just like the Drake game, we're just kind of we're stuck fighting to get back into it rather than fighting to get the lead down to like three or four to really be back into the game. You know, just first off, give a lot of credit to Indiana State. I thought they, you know, came in, played really hard, played aggressive, uh, forced us into a lot of dumb mistakes, you know, dumb turnovers, uh, missed assignments defensively. We got guys running to two guys, leaving guys open for threes, uh, getting split defensively when we're not supposed to. Things like that, you know, Scott and Barnes put a lot of pressure on you on, on the defense because they're so aggressive. They can shoot it from deep and they're trying to get to the rim at all times. And that can, you know, puts a little pressure on you. And I thought a lot of, you know, there was times out there where we just, you know, didn't execute very well. The final three minutes, what did you see out there from your team? I mean, they didn't quit. You know, we kept fighting and battling. But, uh, you know, it's got to be a lot better in the first 37. Uh, you know, everybody's disappointed. It's good that the team didn't quit, that we gave a good effort, but we also have to take this game and just kind of learn from it. And we have to realize that we can't get we can't get down that big in the first half or just dig a hole early at all. 
we have to come out with that same energy that we played with in the last three minutes. We had to play with like that for 40 minutes. There, there was fight in the end, definitely. You know, that's one thing you can look at is the fight that last three minutes being down, I don't know, 10 or 12 and then cutting it to two. Uh, but it, you got to look at the first 36 too. You know, areas where we're not down 10, we're up 10. And maybe we don't need that late surge and we're the ones getting pressed and executing. But, you know, having that fight, you know, there's some areas to look at. You know, I, I agree with you, you know, that last three minutes you can definitely look at, find, find a few positives. If you could crystallize what your message to the team is coming out of this one, what would it be? Got to play a lot smarter. Got to play a lot smarter. I think at times the effort was much better than it was up in, in Des Moines. But, uh, you know, we turned it over uh, too much. We took some bad shots. Uh, you know, you can't, you can't do that against good basketball teams. Up next for the Aces is a trip out to Peoria this coming Saturday for a rematch with Bradley, a team they beat big time here at the Ford Center. For the Aces, instant replay postgame report, I'm Joe Downs. Our fifth third bank moment of momentum belongs to Drew Smith. The sophomore guard tallied game highs and points with 23, as well as assists with five, while snaring three rebounds. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.